Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Azush Makes You Moves, and welcome to another awesome episode of Rust. So, on our itinerary, that is my awesome base down there. I've added a new extension. That is my like house bit up top, and I'll show you that a bit later on. Um, but I've ran out of metal and a lot of it, and I do need a lot of it because my place is extremely dark at night, and I need to get lanterns. Unfortunately, that's 50 metal per lantern, and I don't have any metal. So right now, we're going to have to go and try and see if we can scout any metal out. And now, the only problem with building in, in the desert, well, it's actually just the transition, like the transition from woodland to the desert. So you don't really find that many rocks. I mean, you find a lot of trees, and you find definitely a lot of animals. That's why I put myself there, because in case we're out of food. Um, but the only, there's only one problem. There is no rocks. And uh, the rocks that do spawn, they are heavily, heavily fought for. Because um, obviously everyone's looking for rocks, who, where it was built here. Uh, you have a big tower up there. And I don't really know if I, if I trust going up there right now. I don't know who's up there, who's in there. I don't know nothing. Um, and there seems to be bears around, so I need to be extremely careful not to run over... What, run over, run into any uh, hostile bears. Ah. You see, if I didn't need uh, so much metal, I probably wouldn't be risking doing this right now, but I'm going to have to go up and see if they've got anything. Because I haven't seen one metal block, uh, well, one metal node yet. See, that, that guy down there just saying that he's found all, finally, you know. That's what I mean, so... Right now, it's kind of like a fight for survival. I think my base looks pretty freaking cool, though. I mean, it kind of stands out as something like big and saying like, look, I'm here to stay kind of thing. And I don't think anyone's going to really mess around with me, especially when I get my friends Amiga and Patman online. My Amiga Amiga Project Zero and uh, I am Patman, my two friends that normally uh, who I normally play with. As soon as they come online, then bah, <laughs> it is going to be good. Um, it'll be a good little place to start from, defend, that kind of thing. But, yeah, I think whoever was in here... It's... Yeah, it just sort of seems to be junk in here now. Whoever was in here has, has been completely raided. It won't even be worth my time. However, I really don't know about that. It looks like that, that place has been raided big time. Looks like they tried getting all the way to the top and in. That won't be worth my time either. Oh my god, these these rocks. There might be some rocks down there, maybe. Is that a rock node down there as well? Let's have a look. Yes, two rock nodes. I'll go and take them. Thank you very much. And there's one a bit further up on that, that section as well. So I'm going to run over to here and I'll hopefully get some good rocks to to harvest. Oh, there seems to be... No, that's just a tree. See, from a distance, um, little bushes actually look like uh, uh, old rocks as well, so it's it's kind of deceiving from a distance, so that's why if you, if you have something like, like uh, a rifle or something you can look down on, mainly uh, if you have a crossbow, you can actually see uh, well, if you have a, what do you call them? Uh, one of these uh, they're not crossbow, they're uh, like a, a, a ball. Is it? A ball, yeah. A ball and arrow. Oh, duh. Um, if you have one of these, then you can actually see at a, at a pretty good distance. So hopefully these two I can I can kind of get. And I'm getting slight radiation, but it's okay. It's going to be worth it for these two rocks. Uh, I do need to try and find a metal one, though. We'll have to go a bit further down as well. Oh, that feels so much better to get so many metal ores. A thousand metal so far. Now, I do have quite a lot of furnaces in my base, so I'll be able to... I will definitely be able to get these uh, all cooked up rather quickly. I'm going to go down to this one. If it's uh, something, I'll get it. If it's nothing, then I'm going to have to run back and probably collect some wood along the way. There's some wood there that I can get. Um, so, so that I can fuel my furnaces. Okay. Is that something? Yeah, that's a rock. That's good. 
And I think it's a metal one as well, which is always a a good thing. If, I, if that's the metal one, that's going to sort out my, my metal problems. Or oh. uh, at least for the meantime, anyway. Okay. So we need to be kind of careful here because I don't know who's around. And I know there's not yet people on the server. And I just don't know where they are. They could be absolutely anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. So we need to be extremely vigilant. Oh, okay. So this is a stone one. Damn it. Actually, for a second, then it might have been a metal one. Okay, but we've got 500 metal pieces. We've actually got a lot of metal now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook down a couple of trees on my way back. And... Uh, yeah, call it, call it a day. Oh, there's another one. See, I, was, I was really shouldn't be overextending my welcome, but you know, sometimes you've got to take a risk when it comes to metal, because you are going to need it. Create bullets and things like that, do, it just takes so much metal up, it's unbelievable, so you've got to come out every now and again and try and scavenge what you can. Okay. Now you see, I love this uh, little landmine though, I mean landmark, I'm using that big ass tower as a landmark so I know what side I need to be on, so I don't really get lost. So if that's a good tip for you, if you're um, running around like a headless chicken and you don't know where you are and you forgot in where your place is, try and find something like what other people have built, like a landmark or how like one shape of a, of a mountain is, and just try and keep that in, in your focus at all times, because then that way then, you shouldn't really get lost. Like, I know my base is over there and off to the right a little bit. So, I'm going to head on my way back now. I have got 11,000 wood. Probably won't be enough. I'll be a little short, I think. So, I think I should get another 1,000, maybe. But I, I still have some wood in my furnace. Furnaces from the last uh, batch of metal that I cooked up, so... I'm not too sure if I need any more uh, decisions, decisions, because I don't want to keep myself in an open position with all of this like uh, metal on me and stuff. And then again, I don't necessarily want to come back out again to need some to go and get some wood. I mean, if it's clear now, it's probably best if I go and get some. Yeah, I'll just go and I'll get a tree. I'll get a tree's worth, which is about 1,500, 2,000 wood, give or take, and then that should keep me relatively. Alright. Ish. Oh, wow. okay. It's getting me a lot more for that. 7,500 wood. Okay, so I'll get two trees worth for that then. Okay, that should be more than enough. Get my rifle out and let's go on. Uh, let's try and get back to my base as quickly as possible. Okay, so we are down here. To the right, and there we go. There's the best, isn't it beautiful? Oh, I thought we were going to fall down then. 